Hello friends. Today I will discuss the numerical problems on symmetrical components. So in the last video I discussed the relation between the symmetrical components and the phase voltages and uh, between phase voltages and the symmetrical components. Both derivations are derived. So in this case, this symmetrical components is used here in two ways to solve the problems. Suppose if the system is unbalanced, then we take the problem and we solve that. What are the symmetrical components, etc. And then we observe certain things. Similarly, when the three-phase system is balanced and if we calculate the symmetrical components for a balanced system, what is going to happen? These are the two types of problems that will come in this topic. So today, first I will discuss when the three-phase system is unbalanced, for which these symmetrical components are majorly derived or used. So let me take a problem now that is unbalanced system. In a power system, three-phase unbalanced uh, system, line to neutral voltages are given as Va is equal to 100 at an angle of 90 degrees, Vb is equal to 116 at an angle of 0 degrees, Vc is equal to 71 at an angle of 224.8 degrees volts. Find the symmetrical components. If you look at these voltages, the magnitude of Va, the magnitude of Vb, the magnitude of Vc, they are different. And the phase angle between Va, Vb is different, Vb and Vc is different, means there is no symmetry of angle between these vectors. So it is an unbalanced system. So for this, so we have to calculate symmetrical components. So to get the symmetrical components, so we take, we assume phase A as reference and phase sequence is ABC. And we have seen the relation between symmetrical components and the per phase voltages like this. VA0 is equal to one third into VA plus VB plus VC. So here VA is given, VB is given, VC is given. If you substitute those, then you will get VA0. Similarly, VA1 is given by one third VA plus AVB plus A square VC. So here A means one at an angle of 120 degrees. A square means one at an angle of 240 degrees. Similarly, VA2 is equal to one third VA2 means negative phase sequence component. VA2 is equal to one third into VA plus A square into VB plus A into VC. These are derived in the previous video. So now let us calculate what is VA0. VA0 is equal to one third VA plus VB plus VC. So VA is 100 at an angle of 90 degrees plus VB is 116 at an angle of 0 degrees plus VC is 71 at an angle of 24.8 degrees. 100 at an angle of 90 degrees means we represent as 0 plus J100 plus 116 at an angle of 0 degrees means we can simply write 116 plus J0. Next, plus 71 at an angle of 224.8 degrees, we write in terms of rectangular components, that is minus 50 minus J50. So if you simplify this equation, then we get 22 plus J16.66. And when we convert that into polar form, then we get 27.77 at an angle of 37 degrees. This is zero sequence component. So next, uh, positive phase sequence component. 
So positive phase sequence component formula is one third into V A plus A V B plus A square V C. So V A one is one third V A at an angle of ninety degrees plus A into V B means one sixteen at an angle of zero degrees plus one twenty degrees. A means this one twenty will come into picture plus V C into A square. So V C is nothing but seventy one at an angle of two twenty four point eight degrees. So because A square is coming here, we add here plus two forty degrees. When you simplify it and then convert into rectangular form, then we get one third zero plus J hundred plus within brackets minus fifty eight plus J hundred plus within brackets minus 18 plus j68 so if we simplify this then we get minus 7 1 by 1/3 minus 76 plus j268 if we further simplify it then we get 20 minus 25.33 plus j89.33 so when you convert this into polar form then we get 98 at an angle of 106 degrees This is positive phase sequence component of the given unbalanced system. Next, positive phase uh, sorry negative phase sequence component. So negative phase sequence component is nothing but V A two, and the formula is one third into V A plus A square V B plus A into V C. So one third V A hundred at an angle of ninety degrees. Plus a square v b that is one sixteen at an angle of zero degrees plus two forty degrees plus a into v c means seventy one at an angle of two twenty four point eight degrees plus one twenty degrees. So when you convert this into rectangular form, then we get one third into zero plus j hundred plus minus fifty eight minus j hundred. Plus 68 minus j 18. When you simplify it, then we get one third into 10 minus j 18. So if you further simplify it, then we get 3.33 minus j 6. So when we convert this into polar form, then we get 6.85 at an angle of 299 degrees. So if you observe this, we have calculated. Zero sequence component, positive phase sequence component, and the negative phase sequence component. Then, if you observe properly, this V A we can calculate using this V A naught plus V A one, V A plus V A two. So we know V A naught, V B, V A one plus V A two. We substitute those values, whatever we have calculated, substitute here in the rectangular form. Then you convert that into uh, polar form. Then you will get here hundred at an angle of ninety degrees. So what is given V A? It is nothing but hundred at an angle of ninety degrees. Means Whatever values that is zero phase sequence component, positive phase sequence component, and negative phase sequence components are correct. So this is a verification. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and like the video.